welcome to the final edition of WLTV for this school year. I'm the well author, and I'm a very sad eagle. And I'm the not so sad Esme Torres. Congrats to the senior class. You made it to your last day of high school. For the underclassmen, there are only four more days to go. Hang in there and good luck on your finals. Last week's edition of WLTV featured the preparation that some of the physics students were doing before their big trip to Six Flags last Friday. While well, they are back at school this week, recovering from a little bit of a sunburn and digging through lots of physics calculations. WLTV's Leslie Menares caught up with physics teacher Mr. Hammond to see what the long day at the park all entailed. Thanks guys, I'm Leslie Menares here with Dr. Veltman, one of the teachers that went on the Six Flags field trip. So Dr. Veltman, how long has this trip been going on for? Uh, the entire 23 years that I've been teaching here and longer than that. All right, and then can you tell us how going to Six Flags relates back to your physics classes? So Flix, I'm sorry, Six Flags is the culminating event for our physics classes. Everything that we do, um, all the equations that we have, all of the concepts that we study have to be reflected in their labs that they do at Six Flags. Okay, and then can you tell us what the students had to do while at Six Flags? So they had to make a, a bunch of measurements to calculate different um, quantities like the speed of the roller coasters, the energy involved in um, collisions for the bumper cars, things like that. Um, and then they, at the end, they turn in their lab books to me. All right. And then final question. Did you get on any of the rides? Uh, I did. And um, I, I'm, I think I'm still feeling it right now. All right. Thank you. Back to the studio. Thanks, Leslie. This past week, several advanced art students took to the inner court to display their artistic abilities and relieve some of their childhood memories by creating some interesting art using side art talk. WLTV's Beta Reyes spoke with a few of the art students who participated in this long-standing light and springtime art tradition. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Alex Franklin, and I'm here with Mr. Lappy. Mr. Lappy, what is happening in this courtyard? We're doing large-scale sidewalk chalk drawings. It's a nice group effort. Okay. And what type of students do these chalk drawings? We have the advanced art classes and the AP students that are working on these gorgeous drawings. Hmm. And how long have you guys been doing it? We've been doing it now for about 20 years. I know I look like I'm very young, but I've been here that long. <laughs> and why do you guys do this? This is an opportunity to do a large-scale group project. If you think about the size and scale of these drawings, they run about 8 feet by 10 feet. And that's a painting that's just too large to put in there or keep in your home. So we do them out here on the sidewalk so everybody can see them. And then, of course, the elements take over. Last question. Will we see a young, black, handsome man chalk drawing in the future? Not very likely. Okay. I hope so. <laughs> well, that's all from us. Back to the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Beto. The chalk drawings aren't the only changes occurring in the inner court. Due to the construction project, there may be some big changes to the trees in the courtyard. Some students decided to share their concerns about the future of the trees with the administration. WLTV's Sam Chavez caught up with them to find out about their efforts. Hi, I'm Sam Chavez and I speak for the trees. I'm here with Megan, who is an AP Bio student, and Felix, who started a petition here at West Leiden. So Megan, for those who don't know, what is all the fuss about the trees here at our school? So obviously there's a lot of construction going on with the new cafeteria and school plan, and as a result, um, some trees had to be cut down because it was hard to move equipment. And do you agree with Leiden's decision? Why or why not? I believe that if, if it's necessary, it had to be done, but there's other ways to make up for it, such as planting more trees and making sure to keep the environment in mind. And why do you think the students here at West Leiden should care? Leiden is like a second home to most students here, and obviously if you're here most of the time, you should care about the environment and the community and how people feel about our natural resources. And Felix, what inspired you to start the petition to keep the trees from being cut down? Well, what inspired me was that the fact that no one was saying anything and I felt like no one really knew about the plans. So I felt like it was my job to inform West Slyden and to speak up because I knew if I didn't speak up, no one would. And what was the outcome of the petition? The outcome of the petition was like mainly positive, but there were also some negative from some administration, teachers and students. And even though they will still cut down the trees no matter what, what was your reaction to the outcome? 
I was actually pretty surprised nonetheless because this showed how much West Lydon can care about a topic that they feel really passionate about. And it shows just how much West Lydon and Lydon in general cares about something. So um, it was really eye-opening and it, it, it just made me happy. Well, thanks guys, I'm back to the studio. Thanks Sam. Although the school year is not quite over, construction has already begun for the projected 2020 school year. WLTV's Louis Vidal met with our superintendent, Dr. Nick Poliak, to get more information before the big construction project and a special groundbreaking ceremony that will be held tonight at the West Campus. And uh, what are some of the challenges that the project brings? For example, some students have been wondering where they're going to eat lunch. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a complex project. It's smaller than the project we're doing at East Leiden, but it's more complex because we're going to be living inside of it and having school while the construction is happening. And so uh, the cafeteria space will be renovating part of it and using part of it. And so it's going to be a little different for the next two years, but it'll be worth it. And uh, there's been some discussion about the trees in the courtyard. So are all the trees coming down and will there be new trees when the project is finished? Yeah, what, what's happening with the trees is uh, we've relocated some of the trees and bushes that were healthy enough to be moved. Some of them in the inner court aren't healthy enough to move. And others, when we take up all the concrete and drive trucks in and out, it's going to destroy the root system underground. So we're going to remove those trees, but then we will plant new trees in the courtyard uh, when we're done with construction. And so what will be the cost for the whole construction project here at Westlight? The approximate cost for the project here at West is $25 million. And uh, finally, I understand that there will be a special ceremony tonight to kick off the process. So what will be happening at this event? Yeah, it's going to be a brief groundbreaking ceremony tonight. We're going to have our student board members push the first shovels into the ground to start the project. Then they're going to hand the shovels over to some of the elementary school uh, students from our partner school districts. And so they're going to help because this construction project is really about future generations of Leiden students. Sounds amazing. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Poliak, and back to the studio. Thank you. Thanks, Louis. But that's all the time we have for you, West Leiden. It's been a great year here at WLTV. Thanks to all the teachers who played these announcements this year. And thanks to all the teachers who put up with us interrupting their classes so we could interview you and your students. And a special shout out to Mr. O'Grady and Mr. McFadden for letting Eric come late to 10th period on a pass so often this year. The journalism class has one final message so you don't forget about us. But before we play it, have a great weekend and an even better summer, West Leiden. And for the last time this school year, don't forget... Go Eagles! And the Cubs! <laughs> <laughs> Dear West Lyon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a couple newspapers this year to make some quality video announcements every week. What we did was wrong, but we think you're crazy to make us create this video announcement telling you who we think we are. You see us as you want to see us, in the simplest terms and the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a videographer, a reporter, an anchor, a writer, and a 2017 Lyon graduate. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, the 2016-17 Journalism Club.